Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. This reading is going to be for the sign of Libra. What's going on? I'm looking forward to digging into what you got going on this week, Libra, what you're going to be experiencing this week, and hopefully we can end it on a good note. Hopefully it begins on a good note. This reading is going to be for the week of the 7th through the 13th, guys. What's going on with you, Libra? What message wants to come forth? What seems to be the most prominent and significant energy that you're going to be dealing with that that uh, needs your attention this week, Libra? From the 7th through the 13th of August, what's going on? Okay, interesting. All right, guys, right off the rip, what I'm getting here is that a relationship seems to be moving towards the upswing of things. All right, you may be coming from a place in which tranquility, harmony needed to be acquired. Okay, that's what's being experienced this week is the balance and, and you're feeling quite happy here. There seems to be a sense of stability surrounding some sort of connection here. There you are. Page of Swords and the Queen of Pentacles. This is some Earth energy. Whomever it is that you're dealing with most certainly is appearing as someone that that um, can be a little more mature than you. Someone here that is a little more grounded. They could be a little older of age or something along those lines. You know, it could be an Earth sign. Nevertheless, they're appearing with Earth energy. This energy tends to exude groundedness. Air energy, which Libra, Gemini, Aquarians, um, that energy can be a little more, uh, you know, can fluctuate, sort of say, right? Can fluctuate. Now, <laughs> with that said, guys, what is, where is this leading towards? All this goodness, all this goodness. You see, this reading is off to a great start. This goodness here that I'm seeing. Where is this leading towards? Libra. Where is this leading towards? Alright. Deeper understanding. Alright. Basically, what I'm getting here is that there's cooperation between you and someone. Whomever it is that you're dealing with. There's team effort, so to say. Could have been coming from a conflict showing itself but it's it's showing that there's movement away from this conflict why because there's understanding okay so you may be experiencing effective communication this week with some sort of partnership all right we got the lovers here on board which leads me to surmise that this can very much so be a romantic endeavor that is consuming your energy the most this week Let's see. <clears throat> Let's get a love spread. Let's get a love spread for you, Libra, from week of the 7th through the 13th. <whistles> Boom. Right off the rip. Ace of coins. This is simply a seed with the potential of something great but that's all it is really it's it's something that can grow as big as you cultivate it it's all it is it's just a seed wow look at the challenge so the first card is the 10 as is the ace and the challenge covering it is the 10 of coins so basically what this denotes is actually taking this seed and creating something substantial from this situation, from this opportunity. This is the potential that exists in whatever endeavor you find yourself invested in regarding your love life. Okay? And you know this. You know this. You have a clear understanding. Deep down, you know the potential of this. For that reason, you're invested in it, right? But, you know, before I go further, what's going on with this? Is there still some residual hurt going on? Is it even related to this energy? That's interesting. I pulled a Three of Cups after revealing the Three of Swords. 
I hope there was no deception here <clears throat> regarding the situation. Nevertheless, the past is not something I'm interested in looking into. I'm more so interested in the present moment, okay? And talking to you about how well things seem to be this week, okay? Yeah, it looks quite prosperous, guys. It seems as if you got your head screwed on right this week. You may be experiencing a really uplifting week. And the reason being is because this is simply the result of your own effort, Libra. Okay? Many times we like to see this card or this energy as something related to luck. There is no luck. There's only there's blessings, but blessings are simply the the result of us attuning ourselves to those energies, right? There, it's fortune, and fortune is simply something that we do not see coming. But this, which we do not see coming, is something we're working towards, whether consciously or unconsciously. Now, what materializes in your reality is, is the reflection of what you've invested into, into the, the situation. All right? <clears throat> Here you are, determined. Determined to go straight, determined to... Um, whatever decision you've been contemplating and you're just committed to the path that's what I see and your person sees it as well you see the hangman is a uh, is quite it's a paradoxal card and basically what this card describes is essentially that we humans tend to see the world upside down therefore the card of the hangman tells us the exact opposite. The man may appear upside down, but he sees things upright. While all the other normies are walking around blind and miserable in the world, this man hanging upside down, which is being judged for such, is actually seeing the world upright. And that is what your, your person here is, is basically exuding. All right, they're basically understanding, they're seeing the depths, the truth, they're seen clearly. It's that light bulb going off in their heads. All right. Now, in regards to what you fear, you want to move beyond any mental turmoil. So it seems. But I go back to what uh, what I spoke about earlier here. The blessings, the goodness that comes into your life, Libra, are simply the results of your own efforts. So why put effort in even thinking about misery when you don't want it, Libra? Why? Why even bother? Why even bother? When you're the magician, you see the magician is a card of Mercury. The magician talks about the consciousness. And the consciousness is a masculine energy, right? It's one that creates. It's one that says, I want this. I, this is what I want. And you go about creating this for yourself, whether energetically using magic or whether, whether you're doing it in the mundane world, working towards some sort of achievement. The magician is that assertive number one initiation. You see, from the zero, this is card number one, from the zero, number one is born. And from the number one, which is the initiator, which is the beginning, the alpha, all else follows. You see, on the first day, it was said, let there be light. And from that first day, all else followed. This is simply just an analogy, a story, right? What I'm telling you is an analogy to tell you that you Hold that key of the number one. You can have what it is that you want. Let me show you. You got an ace, number one. You got a ten of coins. That is a number one. One plus zero is one. You got another ten, the wheel of fortune. One plus zero is one. You got a one, the magician. <clears throat> Guys, the world is in your fingertips. All right? So do not give any time and energy to something that is not worthwhile. Why think about the mortifications that can possibly arise in the situation? When you already see clearly, 
the path and the direction in which you want to embark on. Focus on that. Focus on that because this is the potential. If you focus on the good, you're going to attain the good, guys. This week is about cultivating the seed and making it a tree, okay? One of those big ass red sequoia trees. That is the potential here. You just gotta do the work and the work is right here. Guys, <clears throat> you've moved on from whatever hurts. You've gone through the introspection. You've, you've gone through the isolation. All right, you've mended those wounds. Time to leave them, leave them behind and move towards something new, Libra. I hope you find this message useful. I'll see you guys soon.